Okay, I can confirm a very minor issue with the uh, Fuji uh, X-T2. It's very minor. I've confirmed it on two different cameras now. I think a total of five times? Yeah, five times. Um, in every instance, um, it's been where I've had a full charge on uh, the internal battery as well as on the two uh, batteries in the grip. They are all the uh, 126S Fuji factory batteries. What will happen is, is that I'll take 20-30 shots of something, put the camera away, and uh, two or three days later I'll uh, turn it on, and it will always report that the battery in the camera is fully charged, as it should, but is reporting a complete uh, deletion, complete discharge on the internal batteries, and it's a false report. I mean, there are cases where um, you know, uh, you can get accidental uh, discharge or charge dissipation over, you know, a very short period of time. But that's not the case. What uh, usually happens is, is that uh, I will shoot on the reported zero charge and the two uh, batteries in the vertical grip, and then instantly it will just appear that they are fully charged or basically fully charged. So there is a very minor bug. I've reported that over two different Fuji X-T2s. I think a firmware issue could fix it, but I'm going to narrow and specify um, which process elimination, uh, what the exact uh, chain of causation is, uh, but so far I've definitely narrowed it down to total full charge, very, very meager 20-30 shot use, put away for a day or two or three, then it will report total discharge on the two internal batteries with full charge on uh, uh, the uh, the main camera battery uh, but then uh, within a short period of time 20-30 minutes of use it will report correctly on uh, the two uh, batteries in the vertical grip this doesn't cause an issue or an interference of shooting in any way shape or form I'm going to try to eliminate it too by doing some testing variables but I can confirm that now over to uh, XT2 so very minor but uh, it's definitely real and uh, thanks Bye.